Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back if you're not. Today, I got some advanced tips and tricks for you guys. With New World Eternum launching, I figured there's going to be some players coming into the game that could use these tips. I'm going to go over a couple essentials you guys should have done after you hit max level, and then I'll get more into the in-depth advanced tips and tricks. If you guys haven't watched my previous beginner tips and tricks videos, I would highly recommend checking those out first. Links will be down below in the description. All right, let's get into it. Tip number one for when you hit max level is to max out your heart rate. I'm using detonate right now, but honestly, I'd recommend stone form. Stone form makes it so you can't get like staggered or locked down in a situation. Um, you can actually just run away if you need to. And pretty much any class can utilize this heart rate. The second advanced tip that I can give you guys is get your riding skill to level 200. You don't even have to max it out. Just get to level 200 and this will give you the max speed bonus that you can get. You can level up your riding skill through a thing called mount time trials. It's basically like racing around the map. Or you can feed your mount a thing called mount vitals. And you can feed them three times per day. So I'd recommend just feeding them the best food that you can for the maximum amount of XP per day. While we're on the topic of mount, I would recommend getting these items for your mount. The powerful healing talisman. This provides a healing status effect when you're forced dismount through combat. This is good for both PvE and PvP. For example, if an enemy player was to hit you off your mount, you would get knocked off with a healing effect that would heal you over time. And I would also recommend getting the powerful strata mount charm. The powerful strata mount charm will give you a large boost to mount dash when you're on road. Again, this is huge for both PvE to get around the map a lot quicker. In PvP, when you're in like OPR and you're trying to like rush the mid, you'll actually get to mid or wherever you're trying to get to like first. This is actually a huge one to have. Make sure you do not lack on your mount. You can find the powerful healing talisman in Brimstone Sands at this location from this mob. You can actually find the powerful strata mount charm in two different locations. One is at this location in Great Cleave and the other one is from this mob at this location in Shattered Mount. Now that we have our mount all set up, let's take a look at our tools. Let's go ahead and talk about the alignments real quick before we talk about anything else. For alignments, there's going to be certain ones you want to get on your tools so you can get these modes while you're collecting other resources. Each one of these modes are going to be used for something different. Some are used for buff food to like honing stone. So if you have these modes on your tools, you can start collecting the ones that you need to craft the items that you're going to be using. Or you can just sell them. You're going to want a soul alignment, a fire alignment, a death alignment, an earth alignment, and a water alignment. You only have four tool slots that you can use, which means that you can only choose four alignments. But these five alignments can be used for crafting the things that you're going to need. For example, in crafting a powerful honing stone, you're actually going to need, I'm pretty sure fire and soul quintessence which is just the upgraded version of the mode so now that you know what alignments you want to be going for let's actually talk about the perks real fast the best perks that you're going to want on any of your tools is going to be more yield so that way you get more resources when you're using that tool you're going to want efficiency on your tools as well this time is just making you gather the resources faster which is always nice the next perk you guys should be getting is azoth extraction this gives you a chance to gather Azoth anytime you gather that particular type of resource. And last, on your tools, you're going to want the perk Luck. That way you can just find more purple, green, and blue items while you're getting resources. Now I need to talk about specifically the logging axe and the mining pick. On your mining pick, if you're a PvPer, you're going to want this gathering perk right here. Basically this gives you a 50% speed boost after collecting a resource. And the reason why I say you want this specifically for PvP, because if you take this into OPR, you can literally go from ore to ore collecting resources with the speed boost. So this is actually crucial for you to have on. Now for the logging axe, you also want speed boost, but this isn't for a PvP purpose. This is just so when you're in the open world chopping down trees, you'll get the speed boost going from tree to tree. This will speed up gathering logs so much. All right, guys, we're down to the last couple tips now. Let's go over the bags fine. For your bags, these are the perks that you're going to want on them. You're going to want extra pocket. That way you can just hold more stuff. You're going to want Azoth attuned. That way you're just getting more Azoth anytime you do things. You're going to want town loyalty. 
This just increases your territory standing again whenever you do things. You're gonna want lasting consumption. This one is major. Food, honing stones, and ward potions base duration is increased by 16%. This means my food that lasts normally 40 minutes will now last an hour. This will actually save you so much money in the long run. It's very nice to have. And last but not least is luck. Just increasing your chances to get purples, greens, blues, and golds whenever you're out in the world doing things. And the last advanced tip that I can give to you guys is put trophies in your houses. Get three houses and put trophies in them. If you're a crafter, put crafting trophies in them. If you're a gatherer, put gathering trophies in them. And if you don't care about crafting or gathering or anything like that, at least put combat trophies into your house. This will give you just an overall damage boost to these mobs out in the world, and I'm pretty sure these even work in dungeon. You're literally losing out on damage if you don't put com at least combat trophies into your house. If you're not interested in the crafting, if you're not doing the gathering, at least put combat trophies in, guys. Come on. And that's it. That's my advanced tips and tricks guide. I went over a couple easy ones, a couple basic ones, like your heart rune and your riding skill. But I also went over on what you want to put on your mount, what alignments you want to get on your tools, what perks you want on your tools, what perks you want on your bags. We went over some things here. Guys, if this video helped you out at all, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below with how it did. If it didn't, comment down below how it didn't. Feedback's always good. And if I missed anything that you guys can think of, also comment it down below. That way other people can see your tips and maybe they'll, you know what I mean, take into consideration or whatever. If you guys want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. I'm Audi. Pa-pa-pa. Peace.